<laughs> All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial video. Now, if you watched my last vlog, you would know I'm not really a vlog, but an update video. You know that I am back from my three day long vacation. Now, I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday, Monday, and Sunday. Sunday's supposed to be my break, but I figured I think you guys would want a video on Sunday, so I'm just gonna post daily videos from now on if I can. Sunday's video is gonna be Sunday video is gonna be any video I want. It's also Saturday, so it's gonna be the same thing. So Sunday's also freestyle video. So I'm gonna post daily video now. So my schedule, I don't have a break anymore. So, but don't worry if I am if I, if I am ever busy, then I'm gonna have to upload some scheduled videos. Uh, anyways, this is gonna be another tutorial. Now, um, if you guys noticed, I have a new banner on my YouTube channel. I can see I have a new banner and if you guys saw it then I, I think you guys like it but it's a 3d text if you guys can't really see that's a 3d text also this is a 3d text blah blah and yeah uh, this video as you can tell in title is going to be how to make amazing looking 3d text kind of like this but this is kind of going to be it's going to be less blurry than this and it's going to be how to make amazing 3d text to put on your banners on your thumbnails it's going to be really easy and once you know once you watch this video at least once or twice then you'll know how to do it like with a snap of a finger so, first thing you want to do is to make your amazing 3D text is download Blender. It's totally free. It's Blender 2.7.1 for Windows. Um, click the click 64-bit right here. This will automatically install the installer. Install a program. You guys, I think I, got, I think you guys know how to install a program. You can also donate to um, Blender, and it's uh, it's uh, recommended because well, if you want to help help this amazing program, you can donate with PayPal. So the next thing you guys want is you need a good font, and you can go to dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. The font I'm going to be using is called Kabul. No, it's going to be it's called Cartoonist. A cartoonist Cookie. This has been in my, a lot of my videos so far, and the, my uh, let me see, my YouTube channel banner is uh, not Cartoonist Cookie, but um, it's actually the intro of this video. You guys see the intro? So I'm going to make. Uh, it'll pop on the screen right now. I'm going to make this amazing looking text. It's going to be popping up right on screen here. So if you guys want to make it, install Blender. Get a good font you want. And that's basically it. Now, once you have your font installed, you don't have to, like, you can just, um, if you go to my fonts folder. As you can see, I have, um, there you go, cartoonistcookie.zip. As you can see, if we have cart, um, it, it will automatically, when you download the font, it will automatically download, um, a zip file for you. So if you double click on the zip file and you click on cartoonist cookie underscore or cartoonist underscore cookie dot ttf a true type font now the ttf could be an otf too or any if it's if it's ttf or otf it'll work or any other font type so you can double click it and click install if you want that will make it available for like photoshop or paint.net or word but if you want to use it in blender you have to right click copy that and then go back to you can put it on your desktop if i go to paste it on your desktop then you need to have the actual cut you can't have the zip file you need to have the dot ttf file on your desktop or wherever you want to keep that there because the blender needs to um you need to target this file to blender for blender to uh recognize it so the very first thing you want to do is open up blender and you'll get meet up with this screen. Just click out of this box right here. As you can see, you'll get meet up with this. this you'll get met up with this screen when you first open it. Now, this might seem a little confusing with all this stuff for you, but I assure you, we're not going to be using most of this stuff. Uh, anyways, so the first thing you want to do is before you start doing your text, you need to do a little setup. Uh, so as you can see, if you have on the right screen here, we have a little rectangle. Um, if you see where, as you can see, we have these tabs. This is all the tabs you're going to be using right here, right? So first off, what you want to do is delete this cube by right clicking on the cube and just have an orange outline uh, and hit click go delete on your keyboard and click OK. So now what you want to do is click one on your number pad. If you guys do not have a number pad, it's the little, you know, the little square of numbers you have on the right of your keyboard. Uh, you press, you would press one on it. But if you don't have a number pad, let's say we're on a, a small laptop, you have to go to view and click it says front, right front. And you want to do um, camera. Uh, you want to do actually no. You go back to front and cameras. You need to well. If you, you need to do control alt zero on your number pad. If you don't have a number pad, I think it's. Ah, I'm actually not sure. Where's control alt zero? Should be here somewhere. Oh well. Anyway, guys, you just have to click control alt zero. So what you want to do is you want to. You see where it says um, the camera icon here on this tab right there, that camera icon. You see where it says uh, resolution right here. You drag f from f 
Nine, keep it 1920 by 1080, but drag this 50% all, all the way up to 100%. That'll be 100% resolution. Um, all right. So since this logo should have needs to have a transparent background for it to work, if you put it in Photoshop or Paint.net, uh, we can't actually uh, do that yet. So first, what we need to do is create a text. So if we go up here to create and text right here in other, then uh, it will be flat, right? Um, by the way, I'm, I'm holding middle click like the scroll wheel to uh, mo pan around. Just go back to Control Alt Zero to go back to uh, or go to one Control Alt Zero. And now what you want to do is to rotate it to make it facing us. You want to click R on your keyboard, and then you want to click X on your keyboard, and then you want to click nine zero. So and then once you're done, it's facing us. You you left click uh, anywhere. So now as you can see, we have text here. You can move it around with this uh, red arrow and the blue arrow. So if we go to now we have now it's since we typed in our uh, text we have a lot more options here. So if we go to the little F icon right there, you then you can uh, change all the text. So what I want to do is you want to go to where it says font right here, and you want to click this little folder whatever this thing is called. You click on that on the left of the X. You want to go to you know want to navigate to where you uh, your font now. Remember we we put our font on the desktop. It's right there. So what you want to do is go to desktop. It should be here, uh, desktop right there. And if, as you can see, we have cartoonistcookie.ttf. You double click on that, and perfect. Now we have a new text font. And if you want to change the text, you just click tab on your keyboard, and then now you can type in. I'm going to type in Justin the Ori Oreo, if I can spell. And if you want to get out of the type menu, just click tab again. Now you can move it around with the red arrow. Let's center it. I'm going to go to, to align. It, it, as you can see, we have paragraphs you click center now we can center it right there pretty good so now uh, we have just an area if you want to scale it up you just click s on your keyboard and then you don't have to click if you click s you, you automatically drag your mouse without clicking anything and then to save the s save the the scaling you want to click you want to left click so now you can center it as much as you want now this is a good size right there so zooming in I'm just scrolling up on the mouse wheel zoom in zoom out so I'm gonna keep it like that. So, anyways, uh, as you can see, it's kind of dull here. Um, for, so what I want to do is it's a dull gray. So you, if you want to change the color, you go to this little palette. You click on New. Then you go to where it says Under Diffuse. You click on that white bar. You can change to whatever color you want. I'm gonna do blue for this example because I like blue. Actually, I'm gonna do a nice turquoise blue. It looks really good. So put the intensity all the way up. Now, as you can see, if you hit F12 on your keyboard. So, never mind. Um, that if you hit F12, that will automatically render it, and it will give you a preview of what it will look like when it's done. So you you don't want to hit F12 yet. I want to bring this down a bit because when when you when it's all done and you rendered, it's gonna be a bit light. So I'm gonna bring it down. But if you want to have it as bright as it can be, bring it all the way up. But I'm bring it kind of down a bit because I don't like it when it's too bright. So now once you have your color, this is a tutorial on 3D text, of course. So to have the actual 3D text, you want to go to where it says extrude here. You hold it and you go to the right, and as you can see, it's slightly growing and growing and growing. I want to do it at about 2.5 or something like that. It looks pretty okay, f in my opinion. So, as you can see, if, if it's in the middle here, you can't really see the 3D for the T, like that. But if you bring it down, as you can see, we can see the 3D on the top. And if you bring it up, then we can see the 3D on the bottom. It's like a little uh, uh, perspective. So, if you want to see the 3D... Um, um, extrude on the bottom then put it on the very top by doing the blue arrow but if you want to see on the top then do that as you can see on my youtube banner i keep i keep on going back to my channel sorry about this guys so as you can see on my youtube banner on my just the area logo you can see the little 3d on the bottom but on my unique gaming and more you can see the 3d on the top so for my for my um just in the area logo i put it on the top so you can see the bottom but on my unique gaming i put it on the bottom so you can see the top it's it's, it's a cool thing i'm gonna put it kind of on the top here uh, cause I like it like that. I don't know. So if it's go as you can see, it's kind of clipping out of the little box. Just click S and then drag your mouse in a bit again. So there you go. Now to make it so that it's not just a, um an edge meets an edge, I want to have a little bevel on the edges of the text. So it, as you can see, if you go to bevel depth, drag it to the right. You can see I have a little bevel there. Don't do it too much because it looks pretty bad. Do around I would say 0.2. Point two, and then bring up if you bring up the resolution don't like drag it a lot because that will make it weird only use these little arrows here so i think one is okay i think two if you want to have it rounded 
or if you don't want to round it, I'm just going to keep it at one for now because I think that's a good medium. So now once you have your text that you want, and if you want to put it in the middle, you can do the middle or the top again. I'm going to just keep it in the middle actually just for tutorials purposes. So yeah, there we go. So now once you have your bevel text already, I think this is already done. If you want to add some more stuff, um, I like to, what I like to do is go back to diffuse and then click on ramp. I just like the ramp look of it better. I just like, you, you can uncheck that and if you click F12, um, on your keyboard, then actually first before you render it, if this is what you want to have done, because this is basically, uh, the main text already done for you. If you go to this little earth right here, it's the fourth from the left. If you go down, if you click on, you have to check ambient occlusion check environment lighting and check indirect lighting and you see where it says gather instead of ray trace you have to click approximate so yeah that's basically all the setup done also since you need a transparent background you go to the camera and you want to go to where it says shading down here shading and you see where it says alpha right here instead of sky you want to click transparent because it has a transparent background so now we're basically done now if you click f12 on your keyboard as you can see this is what our text will look like. Pretty cool, in my opinion. It's like pretty bright, and I, I like the look of it a lot. If you want to change some stuff, you want to get out of the render preview, you just click Escape on your keyboard. And now, if you can change a lot of it, now I'm gonna check. See if you click on Ramp here, and now if you click F12, it doesn't look too different. But I don't know. I just like they don't look too different in my opinion but yeah there you go you have your amazing 3d text done now in my um my advice is to click a pretty bold ish text you can't have a really thin text because it just won't look that good when, when it's all 3d and, and you know good and stuff like that as you can see as you can see we have a checkered background you have like a little checkered background if you do not have a checkered background then you have to then that means that you did not click on transparent here you need to click on transparent now, um, if we did not, if we go back to the earth, if we did not check ambient inclusion, environment lighting, and ray trace, as you can see, if we click F12, it's out black, right? So if you click on ambient occlusion, environment lighting, and indirect lighting, and if you click F12 again, as you can see, it looks pretty bad, right? Like the 3D text is kind of staticky. So yeah, that is why you have to click approximate, and then if you hit F12 now, it's going to look super good and super bright and really good. So there you go. Now, once you have your 3D text done, this is going to be, this This looks like my uh, banner kind of, except different color and, and a bit diff of a different font. So once you're done that, then you want to, if you're ready and you want to put this and you can put this in your pho in Photoshop or whatever image editing program or banner you use, you want to go to image right there and you want to click save as image or F3. You just click save as image right there and save it to wherever you want. I'm going to save it on my desktop just for tutorial purposes and you can name it to whatever you want. I'm going to name it. Uh, tutorial tutorial logo and just click save as image right there and once you're done you can you can save it if you want between control s and save the dot blend file but I'm not gonna save it cuz I'm gonna minimize that and as you can see we have our text font there I don't need anymore and as you can see we have tutorial logo dot PNG if you double click it BAM looks really good um, yeah as you can see we have amazing 3d background right there a 3d text with a white background if it's white or if, if you have a different image viewing program the background should be white or checkered or something that shows that it's transparent so as you can see bam we have our amazing 3d looking text i think it looks pretty good in my opinion you can change it up if you want in blender by watching other tutorial but this is basically how i made my banner because i know a lot of you guys have been asking to um how do you make your banner or something like that this is how i made it and basically all i did was add a background minecraft battlefield for pc gaming and i added my other text right there so that's basically how you make your amazing 3d text it could be it could be your logo you can add some other stuff in, in paint.net as you can see if i um open up paint.net and if i oops if i open up paint on it if i copy this copy if i paste it into here keep canvas size as you can see now we have our amazing looking 3D text right there. Let me just delete the white. There we go. Now you can do whatever you want with this. Um, you can put it in your thumbnails. You can put it on your YouTube channel banner. And it's just so versatile and it looks so good in my opinion. Uh, if it looks kind of blurry, don't worry. When you zoom out, it looks perfectly fine anyways. If you want to change the text from here, you can just hit tab. And then you can change it to literally whatever you want. Keeping the 3D stuff, you can do blah and then it'll still be that you can do jto but uh oh the o is kind of messed up i'm gonna keep it at just in the oreo there we go oops 
and there we go that's what it looks like again as you guys know so that's basically my tutorial guys if you guys enjoyed this to make um if you guys liked it and this helped you a lot please leave a like below and comment if this helped you but if this if this did not help you if you have a lot of questions um please leave your questions down in the comment i'm happy to help you guys um but if you have any questions about doing anything if you have only questions about doing the 3d text because that's basically what i really want uh, know how to do and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this 3d text tutorial on blender it's a free program and it's to totally amazing because you can make this amazing snazzy looking text thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next video peace out